there you have it. You you win the day because you're chosen for this masterpiece that you only you can create. Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Thursday, October 5th, if you're watching in real time. But it's also a timeless reading for whenever you stumble upon it. So using the law of attraction, if it just pops up, this is meant for you, a message. I'm also doing a little bit of a, a borderless tarot deck series. And one of my favorite borderless tarots is the Good Tarot by Colette Baron reed um, Also with the artwork of, this is Jenna, Jenna de Gratolio, Jenna. Here, let me see. Yeah, Jenna della Grotaglia. Jenna della Grotaglia. She is a New Yorker who lives in Los Angeles, I guess, with her husband and soulmate and best friend Daniel. <laughs> and uh, this is the fifth deck that she illustrated for Colette Baron Reed. And her message here is saying, I'd like to take this moment to dedicate my artwork to an angel who exuded goodness, balance, and true untainted spirituality, a light of hope, love, and joy. Her son, Stephen. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's very sweet. And so, so let's see what this deck provides for us. I like to use Colette's words as well, so I'll do a combination of channeled messages and reading some of her words. That's kind of what I usually do, with, especially with Colette's decks. And I, by the way, I edged the, the deck in green myself, so it doesn't come like that. Let's see what we get. We have the King of Earth. I love that one. So Christmassy, I think. And, ooh, the Eight of Fire, another good one. <laughs> And, and it's very golden, very golden reading we have. And the Three of Earth, ooh, also very nice. And this is one of those decks too where the art fills the whole card and the words just inscribed on top of it. I like those types too. All right, let's zoom on in and see what we get. Well, it's kind of zoomed in. I feel like that's pretty good. Maybe just a little bit more. So the King of Earth is the King of Pentacles, and he is the King of Kings. He represents the man with the Midas touch. And I've often heard it said that the King of Pentacles, the latest king, the last king of all the kings in the tarot, is the one that encompasses all the other king's energy as well. The earth, the fire, the air, and the water energies and very similar to how Pisces house, the 12th house, is the last house of the astrology and Pisces the last zodiac sign. It encompasses all the energies of the past signs as well. So I feel like the Earth King has that kind of quality. But he is also about enterprising, philanthropy, um, abundance and wealth and being magnanimous and being a great manifester and a very reliable leader. And here is a little quote from the book. I have trust and faith in the invisible and know it will manifest in the realm of form the way I need it. So it's kind of an affirmation for you to say, opportunity can be found anywhere and everywhere because I am competent and committed. I am ready for abundance to manifest now in the world of conditions in a form that is aligned with my highest good. 
I manifest all that I desire, consciously aware of the need to stay focused and grounded in the everyday work required. And be, I'm just hearing that it's, don't forget to be an observer of yourself. Whenever you go into doubt or lack mentality or monkey mind, observe what you're doing and try to correct it as soon as possible because it's important that you keep your mindset on that positive energy so you can keep sending those positive messages out into the universe. If you are in the need to attract money, then more money is coming to you. But it also feels like you already have the money that you desire, that it's right there. It's for your taking. It's right in your hands. The Eight of Fire is the Eight of Wands. And it sometimes you'll see it represented with with arrows coming in really fast and sometimes it represents speed and sometimes it represents communication and sometimes both <laughs> this is also about gathering momentum and also celebrating swift changes and it also can represent travel and transformation momentum is building as the power of spirit serves to power this transformation I am traveling to new territories and I am eager to experience all that these lands have to offer. I have arrived at my destination and now the adventure of discovery is energizing me. So there is this great energy coming through. There's a shift, something positive, something to look forward to and I feel like also something where you can anchor you can you can set your anchors the king of earth also represents to me commitment or a committed person so even if you're not dealing with a uh, an earth sign like Taurus Virgo and Capricorn you could be dealing with a person who's deciding to be committed and focused and stable and somebody also who could be a boss that's support that wants to offer you a job or wants to support your endeavors in some way or just somebody who is plain supportive no matter who they are boss friend lover husband mate female male doesn't matter <laughs> you know it's just that a very entrepreneur but yet also magnanimous and boundless and generous energy i just feel like the santa claus too this like very happy giving energy here and the three of earth is about teamwork and building on solid foundations and group efforts and dedicated collaboration it's always to me like the two pieces making the third thing, the two parts making the whole. So which I know it's like one plus one is two, but this is more like one plus one is one or one plus one is three. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. It's kind of like you're one person and you have energy. They're one person, they have energy. Together you create a third energy by just being together. It also can mean one person has certain energy like the yin and the other person has the yin and together you make one again you you become you're united as one so there's t these two very unusual equations that happen in the three of earth in my my perspective but the three of earth always represents the coming together of things and creation and it's it's interesting too because the some of the very first numbers and images have to do with three so linda goodman explains this a lot in her book which i find very fascinating but it kind of gives a sort of an adam and eve energy first there was man then there was woman then there was child and that makes the triangle and it's like two sticks and the third stick and there forms the trinity and i see that often in the three of earth as well this forming of three of three parts that make a whole which is the triangle the trinity and it's also in in uh, religion as growing up you know hearing this the the three in one and saying that that's one but it's not it's three in one 
and trying to compare the fact that these are three entities but the, it, at, at the same time it's one energy was at first hard but now it just seems so simple to me <laughs> but anyway here is something that the way you can look at it if you like the way Colette decided to speak on this she's saying what I am building is grounded in a solid foundation so I know I can trust that it will not slip away suddenly I am joined by others in coordinated efforts to bring forth what we have chosen to co-create the architecture of my dreams is becoming tangible taking shape before me and I share my joy and pride with my partners and supporters teachers and students we all are learning and growing and building collaboratively and so there you have it it's it's coming together with other people it could be just one other person and it could be your soulmate or your twin but it can also be more of a group efforts like when it comes to work and places in school and places of study and places of of group activities and collaborations, teamwork of all sorts and sports and other things as well. Teamwork energy is really beautiful, but also ultimately it's the creating of the masterpiece. And I often think of this also another way that the three is represented is one person showing his or her design to a couple that might want to purchase it or others who want to, who are looking on as this one person is creating this masterpiece. So there's a lot going on here and I feel like um, either way, whatever's happening, the communication's great. There, I feel like somebody is, um, is seeking your service somehow and you are sort of the expert in your field or you're the one that has this reputation and knowledge and everybody says, oh yeah, ask him or her. and you have something to present to others and they're like yes this is exactly what i'm looking for and there you have it you you win the day because you're chosen for this masterpiece that you only you can create <laughs> all right so i hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust <laughs> Oh, <laughs>